going to make history. We're still in the battle for the soul of America. From the debate stage to the campaign trail. Get out of the vote. The presidential candidates have fought their way to election day. Florida goes blue. It's over. We are going to win Florida. We are going to win four more years. A historic election. The whole world is watching. I hope you want America to be united again. We're doing better now than we ever did. With a pandemic taking center stage. What I see across Arkansas is a new level of seriousness. Early voting, smashing records nationwide. Long lines were a big theme all across the central part of the state. And mail-in ballots flooding into the U.S. Postal Service. This is the most important election in the history of our country. We're going to change the course of the country and, quite frankly, the world. All eyes are now watching as the vote plays out. This is your local election headquarters. And good morning and thanks for joining us on Good Day. I'm Ashley King. And I'm Pat Walker. Well, we still don't know this morning who has won the White House. As expected, yesterday's election was very close and is still close. Yeah. And votes are still being counted in a number of critical states. This is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. President Trump is defined. He's been an up and down. It's been an up and down election so far with viable paths still for both candidates. Now Trump is projected to pick up key swing states like Florida and Ohio, but appears to have lost Arizona. It ain't over till every vote is counted. Former Vice President Joe Biden urged caution, but he is predicted to have won victories in Arizona and Minnesota. But Georgia and North Carolina are still up for grabs, with Pennsylvania likely to be counting votes through the end of the week. All eyes turn to states now like Wisconsin and Michigan. All right, so let's take a look at the latest numbers. You need 270 electoral votes to claim the presidency. Joe Biden has 238 overall here in Arkansas. Obviously, President Trump won with 62% of the vote. So uh, Joe Biden has 238 overall. Trump has 213. And there are, as we mentioned, several states that are still counting ballots and have not declared a winner. And Arkansas obviously easily won by Trump. Now,